Hey guys, Dan the Wolfman here, catchjitsu.com. Talking about uh, ankle lock defense, just Achilles lock defense. I might go into some counters. Maybe next week I'll film more of a video on heel hook and knee bar defense and toe hold defense and all that kind of stuff. Just talking about straight ankle lock defense first. If I'm here and this guy goes for an Achilles lock on me, what I have to do is the boot number one. So he grabs my ankle and he's got some kind of leg control, whatever it is. I gotta give the boot, okay? He's already got a little bit of foot flexation on me, if you can look at my foot. So I got to step to him and give the boot. That's the boot. I want to turn the toes out and the heel into his body. If you're used to doing the boot this way, then a real leg locker will switch that and it will heel hook pretty damn fast. So you got to give the boot this way. So uh, leg lock defense in general is going to be about getting close or getting far. So the first things first for an ankle lock, Achilles lock, is going to be Closing in on him and giving the boot, giving the boot. Now, if I want to get close to him, that could be fighting hand defense, it could be fighting the neck, staying in. It's either in or out on leg locks, pretty much. In or out. So I'm going to compress in. So, first things first is going to be doing the boot, doing the boot, keeping, so his arm is now lower on my leg, and I'm going to look at splitting the legs apart. For what he's got right here, very simply, I'm just going to walk over this leg. I'm going to sit on it, walk over this leg, fight to the neck, and then I'm going to start to come up, sprawl out, go into his half guard, mount him, whatever the situation is. I'm going to split the legs, do the boots, split the legs, and walk over the leg. Okay. So let's say he's got double inside now. Okay. So we've got this, and he's already got a good lock here. Okay. My foot's flexed a bit, little bit. Do the boot. Split the legs, control the legs, sit over it, fall, sit over this leg, laying over this leg, and now, keep, keep your hold like you're going for the left. Now I grab the neck, and then I compress, and I'd fight my way out, and I'd sit up to him, and then I'm looking for my top control position. Okay, so boot, split the legs, walk over the leg. That's basically Achilles lock stuff. By doing the boot with the toes out, you're gonna avoid him switching to heel hooks and that stuff. We'll do a more in-depth video. Uh, in the future. If I'm on bottom and he goes for a lock, I don't want to start running halfway. It's either in or out. I don't want to run halfway. So if I'm getting locked here, start wrapping around like that, this is starting to get bad because there's ankle flexation on my toes. It's not just an Achilles lock, but a foot lock. A good Achilles lock is a foot lock. You're extending the foot and everything at the same time. So pull your weight, bam, I'm going to go in. Put your weight on the leg, stack in, okay? So stack in, and then I can worry about splitting the legs apart, getting position, passing, all that kind of stuff, okay? So if I get caught here, he leg laces my leg or reaps my leg, I'm gonna worry about putting weight on it and splitting the legs and coming in, okay? Getting position, or I'm caught here, I'm in, he's got good pressure with his legs, he starts to extend it up where my heel is off the ground. There could be pressure now and he could be switching to a heel hook. Now I'm going to knee strike my way out. Just like you do a walk knee in Muay Thai, point your knee, heel to the butt, and walk out. This also works for heel hook defense. So, in or out, in or out. If he grabs there, now I'm going crazy because I'm going to start adding stuff, but I can always do this. I can toe hold him, I can lock him with my belly, okay? I can start to come in here and do a reverse heel hook. In here, I can split his legs, I can do all kinds of stuff. Steve, come on in. I thought that's cool, people forget about this lock all the time. This guy reaps my leg, bam, what do I do? Do I run away? I either bail right away or run away. Or I decide to fight back into him and counter him. Bam, I come into him. All right, what's the situation? I got my weight on my leg, oh, okay. Okay, pass. Let's wrap your legs a different way. Okay, pass. Here. Okay. Oh, switch it. Reverse heel hook. Or, he's got something like this on. What can I do? Cross the heel hold. Cross heel hold. Or cross 
inverted heel hook or toe hold or pull this in and then compress it. These are all stuff that I can do to the guy and then split his legs if I haven't tapped him up. Okay, so anyway, stack in close or run out, in or out, in or out. That's your basic. Okay, next guys is a schoolboy ankle lock or schoolboy reverse heel hook from standing from back control. The only time I've seen an MMA attempted was Shogun Rua tried it against Chuck Liddell. He didn't get it, but give him an A for effort for the attempt. If you can't suplex a guy because he has good takedown defense and strong hips, and you have trouble bumping him to the ground with the hip crease takedown or tripping his leg out, then try this. Okay, if he's pushing, you're pushing him forward and he resists against you, that's a great time to try the schoolboy ankle lock. So like we're here, Ryan's defending, and pushing forward, I can't trip him down, whatever. Then as he pushes backwards, I'm going to lace, leg lace my right leg through, kick it up towards his hip crease, kick him down, and right away I nail this inside heel hook, like I'm looking at a watch or bailing hay over my shoulder, rip it and explode this knee. If I don't hit the heel hook right away or he starts to defend, you can try a little toe press action and then reach over and do a combination twist, toe press and heel grab here. But I like to just nail this right away from the takedown. Not the best leg positioning, but this is a fast attack. You go for it right away, you got your take two on one, and you take your heel hook, reverse heel hook. Very dangerous move this way. In training, that's all you want. You don't want to do any of this. But in a fight, professional fight, that's a, maybe a different story. Okay, let's run the show. Okay, that's how fast it is. So try the schoolboy ankle lock and uh, surprise some guys. And get last, uh, last day, the day before, we came to a five-star hotel. Like, <laughs> oh, man, I love it. Hundred bucks. That's it. Hundred bucks. I got. Uh, I got seven. Okay, G. I got. Uh, one of the winners is going to be a good one. One for you. One for you. That's good. This way, we don't do that. We're not going to do that. That's also good. And then last night, we go away. Nice to know. And then you'll find. Is that good English or switch? Yeah, it's, it's fine. You can see everything. Back, yeah, right there. That's it. But that's why I'm combining with the heel hook too. I'm pinching my knees tight. There's my back pivot knee bar. Okay, that's fine if you want to get this this side now. I'm gonna come over here and grab bar from here. Lock everything up tight. We're real grab. Well, here, and inside here, and then back pivot collect. Okay, so there's your back pivot knee bar. These are the most common ways uh, you're going to get it. I like being in half guard because I have so many leg locks available to me in half guard. I let jujitsu people hip out and waste their energy while I'm riding them, letting them think that they're doing good by retaining half guard. Like, I don't care, I'm going to ride you and tire you out, and I'm probably going to leg lock you. Okay, next would be from standing. Um, uh, start my full guard, and then just stand up. Let's say I got full guard, and he's just going to stand up and start passing. It's straight up grappling. Okay, bam, he's here, and we're doing all this stuff, and he might pass. I'm just going to hook inside here like a star sweep. I like star sweep better against really high level people than the knee bar, because more people are aware of the knee bar. I'm going to pivot this in. Before he goes, he's trying to pass, whatever. Turn that in, fall, and there's my knee bar, okay? So, uh, I'll do the pivot slower this time. He's gonna stand and start to look to pass, and we're maybe leg circling, and we're doing all this. I'm just gonna turn and rotate. Underhook, underhook, turn and rotate to this, okay? Whether he falls forward or back, this time don't fall forward. Stay strong, I'm gonna climb now, and I can take him backwards. Okay. So whether he falls forward or wherever he falls doesn't really matter. So I'll spin inside one more time. Go up. This guy's looking to pass. We're playing all this game. There's my deeper. 
Okay, and of course with knee bars, you can combine with heel hooks, you could combine with toe hold, knee bar, toe hold, all that stuff. Okay. Now one more time on MMA style. Grounding and pounding. You guys got you pushed against the cage, whatever. Tito Ortiz bombing down on you. He's up, and bam, you're getting screwed. Now guys are usually aware of just a simple back heel trick. But even if they're just a little bit further back and they're aware of that, but they're bombing and they punch a hard cross on your stomach, you're gonna roll with the hits and you're gonna come in. And there's my knee Nice tight legs, heel in his buttocks. Okay? And then I can extend. Okay. Now, those are your highest percentage ways. Uh, people are pretty aware of a rolling knee bar from bottom turtle, but you can still get it sometimes. If this guy is side, uh, side ride turtle on me, anytime he kind of messes up, we'll get in motion, I'm trying to sit out, I'm trying to double wrist lock him here. Anytime, by, by moving my hips out and attempting different stuff, there's some space. And then sometimes, bam, I get his leg in between my legs and I trap it with my foot. Anytime we're in this situation, or from the feet, I'm not going to show from the feet today, there's plenty of Sambo, a Masters of Sambo that can do it. Uh, the Rolex guitar showed me that back in 98. You can tuck and roll underneath, either direction, but this one's probably better. I'm going to tuck and my shoulder roll and kick, and there, there's my knee bar. Okay. Uh, either direction. Now well, this direction, he's less likely to maybe escape. Sometimes it is roll and wherever we will go, we go. I'm not always, you know, thinking best. He's here, I lift this leg up, and I get this, or I get this, and I can dive. Dive, we'll all go the other way this time. I'm gonna dive. Dive. The only reason, this is fine, I feel like I can smit a guy before he can get out, but he can, he does have this leg to work with or kick my arms off, whatever. But I feel like, as long as you are a good submission artist, you should be able to kill joints quickly. Uh, and we'll just go one more time, I'll hold it to the direction I did first. Here, we're standing, yeah. I got this. I'm gonna tuck and dive for that leg. I'm gonna tuck and tight shoulder roll and kick his butt. I'm come here, Boom. And heel hook. And if this foot starts to come into play, I can always play with that, come back to the knee or whatever. Okay. Okay, guys, not my favorite position, the 50 50 position, because 50 50 are always open to inside heel hooks. So, not my favorite go to the position. But we're here, or I'm hiding it. And whether uh, maybe the tournament doesn't allow reverse heel hooks, we're going to show, which would be here, we're going to show other stuff. So, I'm here, and I'm going to shelf his leg. I'm going to control. And once I control, I'm going to slide down on the leg. I'm hiding my foot for reverse heel hooks, even if they don't allow, just so I have good habits. I'm going to slide on down here. And I'm going to attach here. Pause here. You feel? And then I'm going to turn too. So it's even worse. If I got even lower, bam, here, flex, elbows in. See, okay? Here, I'm rotating this. And I'm going to, that's not even it, so I'll lay it up. Rotate. Okay? Really, it's tight and then rotate. Okay, let's say he shot uh, due to boot defense like you would a regular Achilles lock. That's okay, because now it's a calf crunch up to the sky. Let's say you started to pull your foot out, the whole this way. Okay, go here, toe hold with my S grip, even possible too. I can come up here, doesn't matter, here, doesn't matter. Okay, so no matter what he does with his foot, once I start the initial one, he boots, I can go to the calf. If he comes out, I just let it slide for my initial lock here. And now if he boots, boom, boom. And if you come out, boom, I take that energy and I just go here, here, okay. Or then I go to a regular ankle lock, trap, put foot on the ground, build my base here, sorry. Push the elbow back and arch control your back. Arch backwards. Okay. And uh, let's see. Um, also, if we're here, 50 50, and maybe your triangle, so you have some defense. 
I'm here, I'm triangled, so I got some defense or foot on top of foot, either way. Let's say I'm here and he starts to go back to my leg. So sit up, we're sitting, we're fighting, we're hand controlling, maybe I'm in here. Yep. And now I worry about him going back for my legs. I'm gonna shift my knee out here. And now I pull out. Okay, now when it, it's gonna be on the side of your knee, sideways knee break. Okay. So I'm here, toes are under, I collect. I control the top of his toes so he can't roll that way. Try to move that way. You see how, you see you can. So here, elongate out, kick this out. This control on the legs is good too. And then there. Okay, so I think that was five. Uh, uh, let's see, so one, two, three, four, five. So there's five uh, pretty cool. Advanced leg locks for everybody. Let me go through one more time. So we both got 50 50. We're here. Instead of this, all this, super, super sweet. Show for it. Slide down. Yeah. Sometimes we get the wrong craft in there too. Roll this. Really, it's here. And then this way. Pull your leg up this way. And then I got As soon as I get it, I'm just kind of going back. Okay. Do the boot. This ankle lock here. Uh, if I was here, you might keep this way, go slow. You see how I can keep yeah, yeah. it out? If I'm up high, you could still do that, but it's a lot harder. I turn through your leg over. You feel, you feel how this is going to block it? And I got my feet hidden over here so you can't count an ankle lock. Control and control. Anyway, there's five really cool leg locks that most people don't know. This all comes from Warren Brooks, Professor Warren Brooks. Odin, thank you very much. Os at Gracie Baja, thank you. Yeah, which would be choke, choke here. Coco, see? Okay, once he doesn't like, push, legs. Tight. Now, heel hook, heel hold. This way, towards the butt. No, this way. Uh uh. Not this way, guys. This way. See, I roll, I roll his toes towards his butt. Okay? So this is a two on two position. Two on two. No, two on one. Not two on one. Two on two. Pinch. <coughs> Go to the side. Heel hook. Okay? Uh, King of Pancreas, Ken Shamrock did this in the first first UFC, I think. Maybe the second one against Pat Smith. So I thought it was wrong and sloppy for a lot of years. But if you have strong pinch together, two on two can surprise. When I fight black belts who have very good guard, jujitsu black belts, sometimes I surprise them with this attack. So for MMA, uh, if uh, Sun Sunju, uh, if 30 seconds left in the round. Uh, 30 seconds left of the round, then okay, go for this. So, 30 seconds left. Dang, 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 dang. Uh. Okay, so we're here. Okay, so that's technique number three two on two special heel hook. Hey guys, Dan the Wolfman here at the Wolfman World Tour continues. I am at the TAP Gym, T-A-P, in Seoul, South Korea. A new MMA wrestling and boxing gym that has just opened up. And I'm going to show you some leg lock attacks today. Most importantly for MMA, where you stay on top instead of giving position. You don't want to give up position in MMA. Uh, even in grappling tournaments, really, to go to your back, unless it's towards the end of the round, end of time. If uh, especially if it's MMA, you don't want to give up that position and let the guy get on top and hit you, it's a risk. So, learn these leg locks where you can actually stay on top position. I'll call my partner in here who's a fighter. We've got our pancreas shirts on, guys. Watch pancreas live on UFC Fight Pass. First one is a takedown, ankle pick takedown to a tripod ankle lock. I'm going to make him step. This foot is the one I want forward. I have wrist control. I got a collar tie here. I'm going to pull him and look inside his ear. So now I got the weight over his leg. Okay? So now that his weight, his head is over his knee and his leg, it's going to be 
easy to come in here, and this is a detail most people don't pick up. I can take them down just here if my placement is good, and I can actually just take them down. Okay, so you'll see that in like Sila, Indonesian, Filipino martial arts. Um, so here, bam, make them step. I'm gonna come in here, and now I put the pressure. And then I'm gonna follow up at the 45 degree angle and keep taking them down. Now here I could just guard pass, I could just ground and pound, but in a second we're gonna go to the ankle. So I'm gonna show the takedown one more, maybe two more times, and we'll start down the angle. Up. I got wrist control, I got collar tie, and MMA, use this position against the cage. Maybe you're here, bicep control, elbows, shoulder pops, shoulder black elbows. Okay, and I'm gonna bounce them off the cage, make them step, and I'm gonna hit this angle. What's most important is this angle, I'm pushing, I grab that angle pick, and I'm here, okay? From here, I snatch this and elbow back, it pinches back tight, and instead of going to my back, I'm gonna slide my knee through the center, I'm gonna put my knee to the ground, my other knee to the ground, head to the ground, now I'm gonna get my tripod position, pinch this elbow back, and I'm gonna slide out from my tripod into the back. So pinching this elbow back is where the real power comes into play. Now if he still hasn't tapped, he's super flexible, super tough, if he hasn't tapped at this point where I'm elongated then, you can put your hands together to add a tiny bit more pressure to it. But it's really not that important once you wreck this move. So, I'll take them here, 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 slide in, goes down a mat, probably hit him once here, hit him in the body, slide him through, here, and slide on out. Just from the ground you could do this as well. For an open guard fighting, maybe I'm blasting, boom, and I see something open up, Maybe I shelf the leg here, shelfing the leg, as if I was going to kick over it and risk going to my back for a heel hook usually. Instead of that, I'm here and I got him shelved and I'm hitting him. I can pinch his back and I can slide this through. And just move on to the mouth. So I'll do it off the take down one more time. <clears throat> fighting in here, collar tie, that position. I got the inside control we're fighting for. Boom, I got it. Here, here. Okay, so that was kind of more fun. So you got a chance to see it. What's important is that you are tripoded on your head and your legs. You got to balance and you're going to elongate out. I'll go slow one more time. So we're in here. I said I got the shelf. I pinch back. Take up all this space. Pinch back. Slide the knee through. Put my knee to the mat. Boom, other knee to the mat. Tripod on my head. Slide on out. Pinch the knees, pinch this elbow back, and there's my lock. Okay, if he doesn't tap there, you could post here, very dangerous, and break his knee sideways. Like Manoa Man, it's very dangerous. I'm not really gonna show it now, if you wanna learn more about that, you can look up my sideways knee crank video. A sideways knee crank is possible from there. So, you should know that if you're more advanced. Okay, next, guys, an element in the half guard, or in side mount, is there a reverse pull hold? I put this in a lot of videos. A fighter I trained tried it at the last Titan on Fight Pass, uh, Ricky Simone. Um, yeah, so whatever you're kind of half guard you got. So he's in here. Okay, and I'm gonna elbow this leg, elbow this leg, hit this bottom shoulder, punch him, all that kind of stuff. To uh, MMA. You can use this in pure grappling as well, or reverse pull hold. I'm gonna elbow the top of the leg here to make this relationship. I don't want this, I want this. So I can actually do that by striking. Bam, here, grab the top of the toes, okay? Put the fulcrum with my elbow in his leg, and now because his knee's pointed down, I'm gonna pull the toes up to the top of this guy. Okay, if he pulls the knee out this way, I'm going to grab here, make a fulcrum with my elbow, and I'm gonna rotate the leg out this way. Okay, good, luck with the half guard again. Okay, he already gave it to me. Look, some guys do this because they're hipping out. So he wants to shrimp out to get over. Yeah, and if he keeps shrimping, boom, there he gave me the angle. Because he's shrimping to make this hip angle to try and get back to guard. He's been doing jujitsu his whole life. That's what he thinks is up. Me, catch wrestling, catch jitsu style. Bam, I grab this here. Now I can pass this, double up on it, turn on this leg a bit. Sorry. <laughs> here, okay? So basically, if his knee comes this way, take the toes to the sky. If his knee is rotated out this way, you're going to take the toes towards the head. Very, very, very good lock that most people don't do. Okay. One-handed, I might be able to do it, even in side mount. Look, we're here, 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 
here, whatever kind of side mount we are, doesn't matter. I can bang this and then I can grab those, make my fulcrum with the elbow in the middle here, and I pull it towards the head. Or if he's this way, I can pull it here, make him belly down, I can double up, boom, I can double up, keep it you know, this way, here, so I can be inside here, regular head and arm side control, bang this, or bang his ribs, bang the leg, bang the leg, bang the leg, boom, grab it, boom, double up, and, sorry, you okay? Yeah. So, as you see, it's very efficient. <laughs> so that is the reverse toe hold. Uh, been a favorite of mine for a long time. You can see I use it to open up other leg locks, even on black bolts and really high level people. Even if they get out of this, I flow into other attacks. Now, besides that, uh, let's go back down again. Besides that, depending on what kind of half guard he has, I can actually do what I call a toe pull now on the other leg, on the other foot. So, I'm going to grab this bad boy. So right here, maybe I'm turned on the leg, maybe I'm not, wherever. I come over the head here, and I find that I can get this. Like sometimes it's deep in the knee pit, and you see those big toes hanging out. I can grab him here. Now, this just hurts him a little bit, right? I could actually tap him by doing what I call the geisha. So actually, I just realized I can do the geisha from here. I never realized that before. But I can put my knee there and pull his toes in. So now we're going to do five ankle locks because there's the geisha. Okay, sorry. So besides the geisha, that's a little low percentage until I get better at it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to point my knee up to the sky. Okay? And I'm pointing my knee there. And now I got my shin against his back of his shin, back of his leg, and his calf. And so now that I got that, I have a fulcrum with my leg. Okay? And I'm going to do that while I pull the toes toward So that is a toe pull. This is very, very, very efficient. Okay, so while we're in here, grab a good half guard on. Okay, so we're in here. We're, he just thinks I'm passing, but he's got a good guard. I can't pass. I'm in here. I'm trying to no hit pass. I can't pass. Bam. Oh, hey, toes. Oh, there's a foot. Catch wrestling, catch jitsu stuff. Boom. Pull it. Okay, so I can pull it straight this way, or I could flex it up this way. There's different ways of finishing it. But the important part is I put my knee to the sky and I put the shin here in the back. And now this is a toe pull. I started doing this one in Japan a year and a half ago because people in Japan play this, not here in Korea, in Japan they play this. Do a lot of guys use this half guard here? In Japan this is what they all use. They use this style half guard. So, I wasn't able to do a lot of my leg locks because regular half guard, triangle, jiu jitsu half guard lets you do spin around knee bars, back pivot knee bars, rolling toe hold. Reverse toe hold that we just did. This half guard doesn't allow any of those locks. So, I, I was just, one day it came to me, and I was in here, and these guys keep this very tight. Because if you're not keeping this tight, really, you just pass it back, pivot this leg, and you're going to pass the guard. So I'm here, and I just, oh, grab that sucker, put it there. There's that toe pull there. So in this kind of half and half, half butterfly half guard style, well, this is hooked in. If it's flat out, you're going to pass. If you're giving passing pressure, putting pressure on his neck or your shoulder and doing everything correct, he's going to pull this in tight. So as he's doing that, boom, here. Okay, so there's a tall pull. So that's important to know, okay? These are really high percentage, or if you're going against a better jiu-jitsu guy, it's going to make him uncomfortable in his guard and half guard game. If you're making the guy uncomfortable, you're winning, you're passing, especially in MMA, you're getting them up. But even for pure grappling, you guys should be using this. Uh, one more I'm going to do, I have a total video on it showing six setups. There's really seven common setups. You can do double underpass to the hip lock or the hipster as well. So uh, I'm going to show the hip lock really fast here, but you should look at my other hip lock video. Um, go to your guard, please. Okay, so MMA, kind of what we're talking So I'm just going to show theoretical here. Let's say MMA, my best pass in MMA is a pop-up. Boom, to get him to open up. Ding, ding, ding. That guard's open. Double under pass. Bam, here. Here. There we go. Now, pull this leg back. I heel in, that's called. Heel this in. Try and my legs. Okay, and I'm already got him in the hip lock. I can put him in the twister, uh, back spine lock. Not the rest of the YouTube twister. Test his yoga. There's one tap. And here's really the hip lock, is in here. 
sideways accordion. I'm going to break this hip here. Okay. But as you see, I can twist them. I can probably play with them. I can do all kinds of things to him. <laughs> Fighters can take it. It's okay. So, I have another hip hop video. I'm just going to show from a double under pass. So, maybe pure grappling, maybe. MMA or whatever. Let's say I duck under here. Move maybe we'll lift them up to shelf them on my knees and then I do my pass. Bam. Catch it. Move. Trick it. Okay. Here. Pass my elbow to the other side of his head. Regrip my grip. And now twist them. So, there's other stuff I could have done that need a face stretch. There's other stuff I could have done you can see in my electric chair sweep videos. That's the hip lock, guys. Whole other video on that. Anyway, what's important here is leg locks from top position. I'm not going to my back. I'm using catch pressure, heavy wrestling pressure. Heavy wrestling pressure, especially for MMA. That's super important. But, even if I play with his legs and I don't get the submission here, like, let's say, you go back in the half grip. Let's say I do this one too. And now get out of it, straighten your leg out. Straighten your leg, kick it to the wall. Go, 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 go. Straighten your leg out. Come on. Boom. Oh, now I passed. Now I'm in MMA. Boom. In MMA, that's a great thing. So by attacking these legs, it just opens up your game. Your leg lock should go to your passing. Your passing should go to your leg locks. Your leg lock should go to your passing. Should go to your ground and pound. Your ground and pound should open your passing. Should open your leg locks. Your leg locks open your passing. They open the ground and pound. They all go together. That's higher level MMA grappling. But just general grappling guys, you're gonna grappling tournaments if they're allowed in advanced tournaments. Know what you're doing. And anyway guys, I'm Dan Wolfman here in Korea. Come Samuya, and I will catch you on the flip side. We here at Tap Gym, the Apex Predators. Dan Wolfman here, welcome to catchjitsu.com. I am at Mike Pierce UFC Fighters Rose City FC Gym. And I'm gonna teach you all about hip locks today. People are like, ah, oh, that's never gonna happen. What's a hip lock? I'm gonna show you the hip lock in six. Pretty common entries, the first four are very common. Six entries into the hip lock, and you know, it's a pretty, really cool submission about body weight control and position. It doesn't have to be fast, and people don't know it, so they're very, very open. So go down and side mount first on the back. Okay, so first off, first off, for a hip lock, there's a couple different entries. I've shown this on seminars before. If a guy's blocking my mount, whether it's grappling or MMA, I can grab the, the top of the toes, Lift this up and do a leg insert. Bam, with my foot. Now I'm gonna heel back, heel back, heel back, heel back, heel back. Then when I heel back a little bit, I'm gonna come in ahead and arm, and then I'm gonna heel back some more, and then I'm gonna lift my leg and triangle to my own calf. From there, I'm gonna heel in some more, and he's already starting to hurt. Then I'm gonna weave, I'm staying tight to this arm, I weave my elbow out, I bring my elbow to the other side of his head, and I'm gonna crunch him sideways like an accordion, both drawing this back and his head back at the same time. Okay, and there's the hip lock. Very simple from side mount. Another way of doing it is just a transition or passing or it's here, maybe we flopped, whatever it is. I'm gonna just pop his leg and bump my elbow up like this. I'm just gonna do a little poppy motion of my elbow here, boom, and insert. Okay, and you can do that in a lot of situations. All right, so here, bam. Same thing. So another way, he's here, but this time I'm gonna keep it on the toes. I'm gonna lift these up, I'm gonna bring it in, I'm gonna heel back, okay, always heel back first. I'm gonna bring this knee down towards the mat, even if it doesn't touch. I'm gonna come in the head and arm, stay tight up by the head. I'm gonna lift up, triangle my leg, foot to the calf, heel back. This time I'll keep the arm tight because I don't want him pushing me away in my armpit. I'll do a cover, I'll come outside, I'll put my hands back together, and I'll hip lock a mirror eye line. I was gonna keep the toes that time. So there's the hip lock, but here I could have kept it, I heel back, I come in, boom, and I can do a dual submission, a toe hold, reverse toe hold, and a hip lock at the same time. So I can get the reverse toe hold and the hip lock at the same time. So that's from side mount. I'm gonna go on because you're gonna see it over and over again in different positions. Another way of getting this is from a butterfly guard pass, like a flyover pass. So make sure we get, we get different angles. I'm going to do a flyover pass, which would be something like here. 
Bring my knees up in the pocket, compresses, heels to the buttocks. Reach same side to the ankle. And get some control. Drop my head to the mat. I'm gonna fly over. And he's a juice guy bringing this leg into me. I'm gonna collect this to my chest. Keep it there. Heel in. Come on in. Head and arm. Heel back, heel back, heel back. Triangle. Pass. Here. Hip lock. Okay? Uh, Mike, you want to do it? Uh, no, it's a butterfly pass. And pass. Here. I'm looking to regard it, bring that leg in. He's going to collect it and bring it on in. Boom. He's in the hip lock position. Yeah. Oh, this already sucks. I don't know what's going on. Oh, and then I'm getting hip replacement surgery. Okay? Uh, another pointer on this position for MMA. It's just not a bad place to be. If I can come in here, boom, and knee down, I can pinch his hips, and I'm in a good spot. He's gonna try to move out, but I can, I can pop out, and then I can start working. Boom, elbows, double wrist locks. I can still in control, and then I can hit the hip lock. Okay, so it's not a bad ground and pound uh, position either. Uh, I'll go first when you can. So turtle, another entry, is from a stand-up guy. All right, so grappling MMA. In MMA, put your knee in the hole. Igor Volchanson style. Here, we're banging him. He's gonna do a stand-up. Right away, I'm gonna change that punch into a, into a, a cradle. Coming in here, bam, here. Get your hands together. Bring, I like to bring my knee to the hip here. Drive him backwards. Go for the one, two, three, pin. Okay, his legs are spread. That's my insert. Bam, up there, okay? Build my base with my elbow, come up on top. Here, there, triangle back, here, post, tight, pass, tip line. Okay? Now Mike will do it with a little more flash. Okay? So, he's got tight turtle on me, bang the hell on me, I go for my stand up. Yeah. And there's a performance of the night bonus. So outside cradle or outside suicide cradle to the hip lock. Now another way would be an arm bar scale. Okay, so Mike's gonna put me in an arm bar and I'm gonna do a hitchhiker scale. Yeah, I can turn your own. I come up, I post here, and I'm going to free the crap out. Okay? So it starts with punchability, knee to face, and there's my entry. Again, it's the same thing over and over again. Heel, pull back. I can even just here, maybe, different submission for you guys. If I was here, I'm just going to do a back twist yoga stretch for my up and out a little bit. Okay? Mike's going to do the same thing, arm bar skip. I'll go from uh, S mount, let's see. Boom, ding, 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 ding. I can west mount, go for the arm bar. This hits like your stick, lifts, turn the corner, cradle, leave, that's not a fun place to be. And he's just jacking me all up. Passes. Okay, so arm bar escape. Hitchhiker arm bar escape. I like the hitchhiker escape for MMA, especially if you time it right. When the guy goes for it, it's a good early escape to the arm bar. Now, uh, the fifth entry is going to be a leg split defense. Usually I can hitchhiker, then stack in defense if that didn't work, and then maybe leg split defense. Leg split defense to an arm bar is a little bit late. Okay? So, if Mike, yeah, got me in like a crucifix arm bar position, yeah, that's fine. And I got my butterfly grip, I'm here, tight and tight, but I'm starting to slip out. Slip out, butterfly, butterfly, butterfly. At butterfly grip time, or maybe S grip time, last ditch, it's time to get out. I'm gonna move my elbow to the mat. I'm gonna, I can bump first, bridge first, move my elbow to the mat, and I'm gonna bump this up. Bump this up and split, and then I come on up. Now, flexibility test one. Need a face. Bam, Mike's tapping, that's good. Flexibility test number two. Check this leg, see if there's maybe a reverse knee bar right here. Oh, maybe not. I come in here. Maybe reverse knee. Yeah, I think I got here. Reverse knee bar right here. There's the camera. 
Make sure you get this side. Okay. So right away I got it. I'm like reverse knee bar. I'm tripped down by the ankle. Reverse knee bar. But you know, I don't like one submission. Two's always better. Reverse knee bar and toe pull at the same time. Or just a toe pull. Okay. Or I can come in here, bam, collect up here by his neck. And maybe I can get my shoulder down on his neck from this angle camera. Like this side, mm -hmm. neck. And I can start working on his neck. Okay. Maybe yes, maybe no. I can get my shoulder in there. From there, I'm going to pass flexibility test again this way to, to the knee at a little different angle. Nope, that's cool. I keep coming. Yeah, okay, that's cool. And then I'm back in my hip block. Boom. Boom. Yeah. Okay. So that's all from the leg split. Armbar. Defense. Okay. Um, yeah, you can replay the video. I'm not going to put Mike through that again. Okay, leg split defense through a whole bunch of submissions could possibly end in the hip block. You guys should know all this stuff. This is stuff people don't know, but how many ways is there to get out of an arm bar, but you should be counterattacking. Right away, just to that cradle, if you do hitchhike into a cradle, that's counterattacking. You shouldn't just be defending. You should be countering. Okay, and the last one is electric chair sweep entry. Okay, my half turn. Boom. Okay, Mike's in my half grip, and he's doing what he should do. But let's pretend he didn't do that. And, you. and I get a lockdown in Okay, it's really hard to get a lockdown on Mike because he knows to avoid it. Okay, so you got to get the lockdown in. And let's say from there, maybe, um, either way, I like to set up my lockdown. Now, not with an old school sweep. If I can move him and whip him up, that's great. But his base is too good for all that. So if I can't, what I like to do is just cover him and hug him. Now if I break his posture control, especially MMA, he can't hit me. I got my nice tight lockdown. Squeezing that, I cover, he can't punch me here, and I overhook here, he can't do nothing. Right? So I'm set, this is my setup for MMA. Now eventually Mike's gonna get sick of this, and to break that, what are you gonna do? Big time posture, right? Yeah, you're gonna posture, boom, come up. That's my time to go. So I'm here, he's trying to hit me, I keep him down for a little bit. Go ahead and posture way up to it again. Boom, look at my hand past the armpit. I go for my electric chair. Boom, on the shoulder. Now, here's how I do it. I don't post up like Eddie likes to, because I think there's a lot of space and he can get his foot out and kick me in the face and stuff if it was street fighting. I like to stay here and just torsion twist. Okay? Let's say that didn't work. You go for the old school sweep. Now I post on my elbow, building my base. I come on up. Sorry, Mike. Flexibility test again. Boom. Okay? Then. Pass. Boom. There's the hip lock with a lockdown in So now I can hip lock them. Again, remember, how about, how about the back twist? We'll just throw that back twist in there for some yogurtness. And then here, I'm going to bring him back into the hip lock. Look, I can draw in with the hip lock, or uh, with the lockdown. So I got a scorpion lock, aka lockdown, a scorpion lock on his leg, and I draw him back into the hip lock. If he uh, is really flexible and doesn't tap here, I can undo the lockdown and draw it back even further by healing it. So, that's six entries to the hip lock. Uh, and it's not the craziest entries in the world. It's along the path, you'll get there. Like this last one, maybe a guy like Gio Martinez could use that. Anytime you hit that electric chair sweep, like Bravo versus Weather Gracie 2, way before you have to roll to the truck, to the path, to the kamikaze, the hip lock is there as an option in stoner control position. So learn that hip lock position, inserting a leg, because it's good for ground and pound, and it's great for submissions. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, check out our gym online. Everyone knows knee bars, everyone knows some Achilles locks, but people who do not know how to bend the joint sideways. And you can do that catch wrestling style, Eco Hissel Minoa. Uh, Minoa has done it uh, before. And the first one is, I'm going to show probably four setups for this. Let's say I'm on an uh, ankle lock here. And if I'm on the side, now it's kind of a time battle. Because if I end up, this is not where I want it, I'd rather have a cross ankle Achilles lock, okay? But if I was on this side, which sometimes happens, now he can sit up on me and we can fight here. This becomes a problem. See, I'm cranking him and he's not tapping. So anytime I end up over here, what I'm going to do is keep this tight and start to turn on this guy. 
And I'm going to turn up on him and bend his knee. Okay? Here. Here. So I'm on the Achilles lock, arching. And now I'm going to sit up. And bend the knee sideways. See, I'm just bending it past 90 degrees. One more time. On an ankle lock and instead of good position here, I'm coming off the side and I'm arching and I'm not getting him. Sit up. Out of this. And here. Here. Or here. He needs a little more. So I'm going to push. Okay. So here's your first one. Uh, second one, easy from side mount. We will show this way. Second one from side mount, very easy. A lot of times guys put their knee up to block the side mount, right? So you're going to cook the guy, pressure him, and everything. And then maybe I'll cross face him, or I'll put a forearm in his neck, right heavy, cook him a bit. I like to sometimes post on the hip, do a quick hop up to like a reverse knee on belly. Here. And what I'm going to do is grab here, here, and pull. Okay? So again, side mount. Pressure with your shoulder or forearm. Post. Quick hop up like a knee on belly, but reverse knee on belly. Knee to the hip. Foot by the hip, shin here. I'm going to grab this because it was here. I'm going to grab it, suck it in. Do like a figure four hold and suck it in, chest and back. So I'm trying to keep this kind of here and then pull. Now, some guys are more flexible than others, but uh, it's a good quick attack. The next one, in the guard. Last 30 seconds of the round, try and get a submission. Or the last, uh, if you're down four rounds, like Hominick goes to Aldo, getting in his guard and grounding and pounding is not going to win you the fight. Submitting the guy is going to win you the fight. Go for it. Two-on-two two heel hook, I use a lot against guys. Black belts are really good guards. Two-on-two two is something you can do. So here, and then I'm going to hop up, cross, pinch, two-on-two, two, and then come to this side. I'm going to grab the toes here and push. Pinch this. Okay. When I first learned this, uh, I think in Black Belt Magazine, Boko Shigichi was showing it. And it's two on two, but it's the knee pressure together. Mm -hmm. So from low guard, you can do that with a quick hop. So now a really fast guy might come up, but I usually just hop boom, and come in on it. Okay, pinch here and double push. If a guy had long legs, you have long arms. You guys, you could come over. See, I can figure four on him. Some guys I can't. You could figure four on this. Okay. Grab the toes and push is one way. Okay, the reason I grab the toes is because if he's really strong, he's going to push out. And so grabbing near the top of the toes is going to help defend that push out. And you could always switch to a toe press. Okay, to or a toe when he will other leg locks. Another way I like to finish it is with an arm weave, like on my double wrist lock. Better than a double wrist lock, Kamara, the single arm weave. Here, pinch, rotate. The shoulder is what's going to stop him from kicking the foot out. Okay? So here. <clears throat> now, another way of getting it is when you're trying to pass the guard or ground and pounding in MMA, you got your Wing Chun Kung Fu position or your karate. Um, horseback riding stance kind of thing with inner thigh pressure here, grounding and pounding, kick one leg over, triangle, okay, now he's tight locked in, same thing, here, or I like this way now, so sometimes if he's really strong, try and kick my head, so you can sometimes get out, try and kick my head, so I can block it pretty good with my shoulder, more towards the tap, and he's really flexible, okay. So, great ways in the guard to get the sideways knee bent. And last way is if he does a grapevine guard. Um, saw this in the recent UFC, some guys still do it. I like to use it. If he does a double, you have to clear one. Okay? So if he does a double, you clear one. And this one's still hooked into the mat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push and do a backspin, like a backspin knee bar. Okay, I'm going to do a back pivot. 
grab, sit on them, protect my neck, my shoulders, and pull in. You could grab the toes, do some pressure here too. But I'm really working the, the knee joint from the side. So just pick a side if he's got both or if he's only got one, you go that way. If he's got both, clear one, push, go, hook. However I'm hooking, you see I'm just grabbing. That's how it is, guys. Get leverage towards the bottom and pull. Or I might be I'm like this. See, that was good. I might go to my own head. You know, I might be under here. It doesn't matter. <clears throat> He's got double. You know, sometimes I can do other stuff like this. Not if I didn't need death lock. There's other stuff you can do. Again, here. Clear. Working my past these things. Whoa, I caught it. Look at this. Now I'm sitting on my feet. My hips are off the ground. So I went fast this time. My hips are riding on him. Try and get your leg out. He's really strong and he straightens it out. Well, okay, guys, you can always switch to knee bars. He'll hook up. Hey, guys, Dan the Wolfman here, thecombatsystem.com. I'm going to show you some cool MMA slash street stuff. Uh, different variations you can do against round kick le leg catches, okay, against body kicks. Uh, I don't like the right body kick for MMA. It's way too instinctual, too easy to grab. Um, but I'm going to show you some cool stuff you can do, a little on bonk style, uh, either for MMA or for the street. Anyway, some cool stuff. Okay, so uh, let's go with the jab right body kick first. I'm going to catch that jab coming in, and I, but I catch the kick and I whip him off balance, right? People are used to getting it. It's so common that they go to punch you right away. Boom, I lean back and I give him this knee. It doesn't have to even be that hard, but it's nasty. As he punches, I lean back and I give him this knee. Then I can enter in with on bump, knee, elbow, okay, muy bore on style. Now that would be a 12-6 elbow in MMA, but you like to have fun and do real mixed martial arts sometimes. I mean, maybe it was 1FC. I, I think it's allowed. I'm not sure. Um, but the 12-6 elbow, it would be okay. Here, here. Now from there, I can biomechanically hit his knee and rotate him. Now from there, I do what I want. I just dumped him if it was a Muay Thai fight. He has to spend energy to get up. Or I could try and snap the knee a little bit with a fast heel hook, even though he's not real isolated. I can then step over toe hold here, okay? Insert the leg, the shin behind the knee. And now I can just lean forward and it puts a lot of pressure on the knee with the shin. As well as if I got the foot here, it's gonna lock him even faster. If it slips off on the side, that's fine, because I like to go camel clutch style, make him tap out from that. If there was a street, I could grab his hair and bang his face into the mat. This is also a very good control position. Uh, you see this leg lock in like C lot and other systems. It's a good leg control position to hold someone in, because it doesn't take energy to just hold someone there for police to come and whatnot for the street. But for the mat, it's also a lot of fun. I'll show that one more time. You go here, catch, boom, he goes to punch me. Bam, oh yeah, bam, bam, roll this. Here, turn it down, step over, insert, and now I got the leg lock. I got camel clutch, okay, all at the same time, very good control position. I can do what I want to. Chill out, man, chill out, call 911, call the police, whatever needs to be done. Okay, as long as you exhale. Okay, so I'll show that again. Here, here, okay. Now, from here I got options. One thing I would like to do here, Come in with that knee, elbow, knee, elbow, spinning elbow. Okay? It's a little bit more around, a little bit John Jones style. Here. Okay? Boom. One, 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 one. Okay? Okay? So, uh, let's get that one more angle before I go on another one. Okay. Uh, come here. That's good. Ready? Boom. Ha, ha, ha. Okay? Okay, so a little fun because it teaches you spinning elbow, some stuff like that. Okay, now let's go into some other options. Again, on the right kick, here, here, okay? Now I could lead with this if he punches, okay? And now I'm gonna go, yeah, give me that punch, boom. As he punches, boom, I'm gonna come back and find that wrist. I'm gonna kick an oblique kick to that knee and go to a heel hook, go to a leg lock position. So I'm gonna fall back and drag him to the ground this way. Insert the leg here, switch this to behind the knee. Okay, my right foot went from oblique to a behind the leg insert. This is flat on the ground where I'm locking the hip. I can come in a little tighter maybe, and now I'm ready to 
really rip this if I needed to. Okay, so just insert here, go very slow in training, heel hooks are very dangerous. And then I can rotate the heel as well as also counter rotate my body. Okay, but what stops them from rolling out, make sure you get that, my foot over here, is, is this foot. Okay, so one more time on that. Ooh, he goes to punch, bam, here, find that, grab that, insert, fall, here, lock down here, boom, and now I'm ready to, okay, heel hook, slowly, nice way, or if I needed to, or I could also rotate my body, okay, as well as all this kind of variations, okay, okay, on the other side, I could do that as well, against the left, okay, Okay, so now, on this side, here. Now, if I wanted, I could come in or whatever. I could just go to this. I could go for a knee first. I could go for this. I could roll him and sit at the same time. I could insert here. Now, I kind of lost this leg, actually. That's okay. Um, now I might decide to come up. Because I could heel hook him here, but he might also roll. Because I lost this leg. Hey, that happened. So now I might decide to insert and go to the move that I showed you earlier. Now I'm here in total control. I also got the foot good by my hip bone. Okay, so it's a knee compression lock uh, or calf slice or whatever. But really, if my shin is behind his knee, and I'm also doing this to him. So I could take his toes, put him up his butt. I could toe hold him here, or I could toe press him. Okay, let's go one more time just because he felt weird. Yeah. Now I can insert that there. So he's trapped, so he can't cop wear out. So I switch this time from this to this. Here. Now I can slowly, or if need be, I could go here. I could go and turn my body while this is hooked. Uh, I'm showing some dangerous stuff for street combatives applications. But this is good, practice safe, kind of fun to do with your class, MMA stuff. And again, I could go heel hook here, I could bail out, I could always scissor out, transition, come up uh, like Oliveira did, that knee compression in UFC, Charles Oliveira. So anyway guys, I hope you liked it. It's just kind of mixing a bunch of stuff together. Uh, one more thing before we go, just the biomechanics on one of this takedown. If I got a kick here, I can just insert my arm, I could hit, I could elbow, even without the elbow, I could just kind of insert and slide with a little bit of pressure and look what it does to him. So I'm going to biomechanically take his knee from here and point it down. And even if it was Muay Thai, right, I hit him in the face, he hit me in the face, I want that takedown, maybe I can't get the sweep, he's got good balance, BJ Penn style, I'm having trouble hopping in to reap that leg or to dump him this way, I could always just go here, throw him down even in Muay Thai. Okay, so that's something uh, people should know. So one more time on that. Let's go this way. Okay, so we're here. Here, 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 boom. I can insert this way with my elbow. Can I get back up? Whoop. Rewind here. Even as knees pointed up now, I'm still gonna have a little bit of trouble, but I can whip him, and I can use this form, whip him, here, turn him down. Now he's mine. Okay, I got him down. I can just dump him, knee strike him, I can kick him in the head, whatever. Just biomechanically understand, it doesn't take a lot to turn that knee down. I'll show on the other side one time. Here. Okay, here. So, and guys, always exhale. Okay, I'm not really, because I'm not really concerned about the kick, but here, slide, elbow insert. Okay, so from here, just hit and guide. Whoa. Even if we tie, if I kicked right away, that'd actually be allowed. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed it, guys, and please sub. Uh, thanks.